If you use the CK12 app within Canvas to make assignments, you'll be able to see your students' grades show up in your Canvas gradebook. Whatever point value you set for those assignments, CK12 will give the matching points associated with that assignment. So for example, even though CK12 scores out of 100% for quizzes, if you set that point value for 50, we'll correspond that grade accordingly. And you'll see in this case, 43.5, 46.5, and 40 as the quiz grades for that particular assignment. Other examples like Plix and Sims are full or no credit. So you'll see those scores. And then practice is gonna give you values out of the goal of 10 correct. You're welcome to use the links within your gradebook or the speed grader to access your reports for your class and get more detailed information. But I find it easier simply to go to your assignments within Canvas. And then you can open up any assignment there and you'll have the opportunity to access both insights and your full class report. I do recommend that when you're working with Flexbook 2.0 lessons that you choose the load in an, another tab option when making that assignment. And you can then click on this link to load that assignment. Students accessing it will automatically be dropped into the assignment, but you have one extra window that shows up. You can preview this assignment, which would drop you directly into it like a student. You can click on this view reports and it's gonna open up that class report in a new tab. So if I go ahead and I click on that, it will load that class report in the new tab. And I can explore in addition to, you can see that full or no credit for some sims or plicks, the full quiz score is here, practice score is here. I can actually dig into those details. So in this particular case, this student got a goal of 10 correct and they have a proficient skill level. Another student got their goal of 10 correct. It looks like they actually got 11 correct, so they went a little further, but it's still, still developing that skill level as they work their way through. You can also see if a student has done the work on the assignment, but hasn't clicked that turn in button, you'll see this little needs to turn in option here, or hasn't started the assignment for this student, which means they need to actually go in, open that assignment and do that work before they turn it in. You can even reset their score in practice if you want them to restart and get a fresh beginning level to help kind of build that new skill level accordingly. For quizzes, you might see information such as the first attempt and second attempt if you allow multiple attempts. But regardless of whether it's a quiz or practice, you can actually dig into the questions themselves and see exactly how a student did here or similarly on the practice. In this case, the level of questions, the actual questions, whether they did a first and second try, how that plays out as they go through. So go ahead and use that detailed class report that you can access from your assignment link to dig into more information and get a better sense of exactly how a student's doing on different pieces. Now we also offer, if I go back to that assignment page, the opportunity for any Flexbook 2.0 lesson to see our newest insights. So if I click on this and I open up my insights, it's going to open up that assignment, just like it would if I was previewing it, but it's also going to pop open the insights in this top right toolbar so that you can see them right off the bat. And this will give you a sense of how your students are doing. So in this particular assignment, the students, if I click back on classes, states of matter, they all got that goal of 10 correct. But then they actually have different skill levels, some of which you could see. So the Jumpstart student is proficient. Katie and Lindsay are both developing and Carl just is beginning to understand this concept. But in addition to just the skill level, you can actually see some other information. So you can see here that Lindsay was somewhat engaged with the lesson, but only spent a minute or so with it. Katie, on the other hand, has a higher engagement and spent four and a half minutes on this lesson. So two students with the same skill level, I might work with differently in terms of understanding. One, I'd say, Let's go back and read that assignment. The other one, I'd try to figure out a little more where she's struggling with that particular content. In addition to the skill level, engagement, and time on read for any individual student, which you can see there, we do offer recommendations and insights for the whole class. So it might be that the students with low skill level spent less time, less engaged. So the recommendation would be to go ahead and review this concept to improve their skills. We might talk about and video to check out or a prerequisite concept that might be useful. And then some questions that students struggle with. So I can go ahead and I can open that question and that might be a great way to start that class and say, 
which of the following best describe gas particles and really kind of dig in from there. So you can see this whole class information, or you can go ahead and dig down into individ an individual student and see at the top their time on read, their skill level, their engagement, and where they actually spent their time on this particular lesson. So whether they interacted with an interactive, watched a video, watched another video, this blinking green dot is a recommendation that says Katie got this question wrong. So that's a good paragraph for her to go back and review and understand as you go through. And we're continuing to build out these insights. So keep checking back, but definitely use that information about an individual student and then about the whole class to get a sense of different places you could start a class based on how students did, even if you haven't had time to dig into the actual answers for every question that you have. Hopefully that's helpful and a reminder that you don't need CK12 classes, but you can access all of those reports and insights directly from within Canvas if you use that for your assignments.